everyone, my name is Vladis and today I'll be showing you my nuclear reactor breeder. This is like a nuclear reactor, but then it isn't really that safe. It's more like um, a nuclear reactor which is generating a lot of heat. So um, here I have mine with a maximum of 12,500 um, yeah, heating units. I'll call it for now, uh, and then it shuts automatically off. Um, but basically, what this thing does is it turns isotope cells into re enriched uranium cells, and this re enriched uranium cells can be combined with coal dust, and then they will turn back into uranium cells. Um, so, yeah, let me take these ones out because they are done. And let's get in some isotope cells. So when you have a uh, near depleted uranium cell, so when your uranium cell is dumb, you'll get this deple depleted, no, not depleted. You have a near depleted uranium cell. When you add, I think it's coal dust to that, then you'll get this depleted isotope cell. Let me give myself um, eight of those um, so yeah then you get these ones and if you put these ones into your uh, breeder so into this thing over here and um, then they will quickly turn into re-enriched uranium cells so let me do that and there we go they're already turned into re-enriched ones um, so so yeah, now I'll tell you a little bit about like what this thing is. So over here I have my MFS, MFSU, it's just like giving a little bit of power because there's only two uranium cells. Um, mm, 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 so it's only 20 EU per tick. But that's okay because we have, we don't really need EU out of this one. We have like other generators which will give us EU. Um, this one is only here to generate heat and to fill up your isotope cells. <coughs> so when this thing reaches, um, I think it's going to happen really soon, when it reaches 12,000 um, degrees, I'll call it, then it will trigger this one to give me some ice and to cool down uh, the nuclear reactor to about 10,000 again. I'm sorry for that, that's my fridge freaking out. Um, but when, see, there it goes. So now it cools it down to about 10,000, you see, 10,000. Then uh, it's okay. But when, for example, my I don't have any eyes anymore, and then this mechanism would not, would not work anymore, and then we have a problem because then the generator of or the nuclear reactor will keep generating a lot of heat. So that's why this thermometer is here. When it reaches 12,500, then it will just shut off. And then it will cool again. <laughs> so then I'll have to check my eyes. We can we can for example get a alarm system hooked up to this one I'm gonna trust trail alarm just like that um, <laughs> um, so yeah when we for example just disconnect this part over here and let's speed up the uranium the, the heating process um, And these are just integrated reactor platings because you can't really use anything else inside the nuclear reactor. So now it's going to generate a lot of heat. As you can see, it's rising with about 100 each time. So this one is already uh, turning red. So this one, yeah, it's turned off. So yeah. <laughs> Then you know, like, oh no, my reactor is overheating, and then you just 
look into your system over here and tuk, 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 and we have ice again and it's cooled so yeah that's basically it guys thanks for watching my video i hope you liked it please subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you next time bye